Hello everyone. My name is Michelle and I work at the Friendship Center here in North Bay. Today we're going to be making a hearty mousse stew. We're going to make two varieties. Andrew's going to be working on a more traditional mousse stew with less ingredients and dumplings cooked in the pot. I'm going to be working on um, a recipe supplied to us by uh, Learning Together. So here is the recipe. We'll make sure everyone can get a copy online. We've laid out some ingredients that we're going to need, including a cutting board, a nice sharp knife, your mousse in a container that's going to catch any drippings because as it thaws it's going to be a little bit messy, a nice big pot, your vegetables. I've added one ingredient to the recipe which is a green pepper. When I cook with wild meat I always add a green pepper. It just seems to make the taste a little bit nicer. And simple ingredients. When you're cutting up your mousse meat, you want to make sure you get off any little membranes that will be tough. They will cook up over time, but it's easier to get it off now. And when you're cutting it up, you have to remember that the size will change a little bit, but not much. So you want it all to be bite-sized pieces, smaller than a ping pong ball. You don't want to be too picky. And every piece is similar size. You look in here. It's all about the same size. Hi all, we're ready to add our meat to our cooking pan. We've warmed up the oil a little bit, made sure the oil's all over the bottom. We're just going to add it in and give it lots of stirs and bob. Hi all, we're on to the next step. We've removed the meat from the frying pan. There's still all the brown in the frying pan. Make sure you leave that there. And next to it, we're going to add celery, onion, and peppers. I've chopped them up in nice big pieces. I'm going to cook those for a few minutes, and I'll come back for the next step. Hi, guys. We're on to the next step. Our celery and onion and peppers are cooking down quite nicely, so we're going to add the carrots and let them cook for a few minutes. Hi all! So we're ready for our next step which is putting everything together. We're going to add our meat back in our pot. We're going to add our broth which comes for us. It's coming this way which are little cups uh, and you add water to it and it becomes your broth. So once it's all put together I'll show you what it looks like. Hi all! We're back to the one of the final steps. Now we need to season our stew. It's asking in our recipe for a half a teaspoon of, sorry, one teaspoon of pepper and half a teaspoon of parsley and thyme and four bay leaves. So there are my bay leaves. Here's my pepper. We have our parsley and we have our thyme. And it's not open yet. Mm. There we go. Here's our parsley. Here's our thyme. The last thing is some frozen vegetables. Now we're just going to keep stirring it and let it stew for about two hours, maybe even three. We'll see what it looks like at two hours. See you in a while. Hi there. We're pretty much all done with our stew now. I'm packaging it up and it looks like I'm gonna get six servings out of this one. We pretty much doubled the recipe. So um, remember the adjustments I made where I added a green pepper and um, we used the broth cup instead of the broth carton. Either one will do. Um, it looks and smells delicious, so thanks again for watching. Bye.